What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. And today we return to the Sylvan Glen Golf Club out in Troy, Michigan. You guys know this is my home track. You know, this round was nothing really special. I found out that it was like 50 some degrees outside and I was on break and I didn't really think about golf in the day until I saw the weather and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go place nine holes before it gets dark. So this is just going to be nine holes of golf here. Um, pretty casual little golf vlog here. As you can see, I got jeans on today and um, probably not beneficial to my golf game. As you can see there, I kind of pull that first drive. And uh, today what I'm really going to do is uh, try to shoot for a personal best on this nine. Now, you may be thinking, Ben, what else could there possibly be to do on this course that you haven't already done? You shot a 75, which is the best round relative to scratch that you've ever shot in your life because this course is a 73.4123. Um, why are you back here? Why are you still trying to do better? Well... I don't know if you guys remember this, but when I shot that round, I shot a 41 on the front and a 34 on the back. I did not break 40 on both nines. Just caught that one and so good. what I'm doing here is I'm playing the front nine and I'm trying to shoot a personal best on the front nine. Can I get a 40? Can I get even lower than that? I've broken 80 um, only once on this course ever. But I've broken 40 on the back nine over uh, probably dozens and dozens of times. I can think of at least 10 off the top of my head. I remember I shot a 47 and then shot a 38 on the back nine. I thought I hit that uh, way too hard. On the same day. And it was um, a great comeback. And uh, I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see it. Uh, I didn't have my tripod. That day was broken. Um, but I fixed it since then, obviously. But um, I've never broken 40 on the front. I've broken 40 on the back so many times. Because I, I thought um, I hammered that first one by accident. I've never done it on the front, and I want to change that. So that's why I'm here today. And uh, I'm just kind of... Uh, you guys are going to hear a lot from me. Uh, this is kind of a... Uh, commentary centered vlog more so especially the last few holes i know this is a very long uh course vlog but um this is um a lot of me just uh, on course analysis sort of deal just talking through it uh that you guys are going to see i hope you guys do like that style of golf vlog i mean i don't do it as often as i want to but today i really uh committed to it I also committed to this four iron off the tee. What a great shot that was. That was excellent. Drop zone is real beat up. I bet a lot of people have used it today, but not me. We made it. There's just a little bit of me buttering myself up there after that awesome tee shot. Gutsy down the left side of the fairway. I always aim towards that right fescue and try to draw it back. And uh, if I draw it back, it's a great shot. But if I don't draw it back, it ends up in that fescue. It is a little bit of a chicken move, but this time it worked. Um, I was honestly scared to hit a four iron. But for whatever reason, it felt right. And um, also, I usually hit four iron on seven, so I just kind of wanted to break it in. Um, and I, I gave myself a lot of confidence with it. And you guys are going to see on seven that that helps me quite a bit. Almost got a birdie there to tranquilize the opening bogey, but one over through two on this course, I'll take that. I'm never going to get mad at that on this course, guys. I've shot as high as five over through two, I think on camera that one time when I was wearing that at, it was early May, 27 and 28 course vlogs, I think it was, where I shot an 83 here. I think I started off triple double crunch wrap. I'm not I'm not certain of that. I'd have to go back and watch it again. But uh 
yeah, this, the, the first three holes at Sylvan Glen are just pure chaos for me most of the time. And uh, especially this hole. This hole, number one, all you have to do on number one is keep it straight and don't go long. But on two and three, the elements really come into play just on the hole design. This hole often will play into the wind. Yeah, as you can see, the flag is kind of blowing back towards the T on the left over to the left side of your screen where I came from. I've hit as short as nine iron into this green and as long as three wood. It's a 430 yard par four and it's just sometimes it's a pain and today it really was a pain and honestly it's basically a par five on days like this. So I was actually really happy to have this short of a putt here for par. Um the drive was really good. I kept it out of the forest area on the right side and uh, gave myself a good look here. I'm playing really well so far, guys. I Honestly, I was pleasantly surprising myself as I was playing these first three holes. That wasn't such a pleasant surprise, but you know what? Two over through three holes... Um, with how hard two can be, with how tight that tee shot is, that two-tiered green, a lot of things can go wrong. Didn't go wrong today. This hole, a lot of things can go wrong because sometimes it plays super long and you try to kill it. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just saying, you told me I would have got five on the tee, I would have been like, okay, I'll take that. Um, so... Now, after that happening, I'm really confident I can go for this green in two. And um, I really do try to give the driver a poke, but it just catches the rough on the left side, which forces me to lay up here. And I actually hit a terrible layup shot. Had a little bit of hosel in. No. I almost went under a tree. I felt like I hit part of the hosel on that pitching wedge. It was just fat and right. So very poor second shot, although a layup can only get so bad, right? Um, at least I didn't take too much club unknowingly. <laughs> so just a pretty tough little shot here. Kind of felt claustrophobic over the ball because I thought I might hit the branches. I didn't. I made sure I couldn't or else I probably would have taken another club and tried to run it up on the fairway before the green over the water, but I didn't. I hit a sand wedge. I hit it really thin, but it spun really hard because the ground is really wet this time of year. And um, just because sometimes when you thin a wedge, but don't completely thin it, you still get a ton of backspin on it. Like you kind of knife the bottom half of the ball and it just spins back like mad. So pretty, uh, pretty stress-free par there, I would say. Um, did pretty good on that third shot. Um, it it worked out. I mean, I'll, I can always take a little luck in 50 degrees and windy, right? I can also take a little bit of boom drive without a bounce on the left side. That was an awesome clutch drive. I would say the first half of the front nine went pretty darn well. I'm two over with a shot now at the green and two on this 480 yard par five. Got the Sabres gear on, playing the Bruins tonight, our rivals, we wanna beat their butts hard. Definitely be tuning into that one. Um, and after that, shout out on some turkey, cause tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I cannot believe how fast this year has gone. I can't believe it. It's, I don't, I don't get it. Um, I'll tell you what though, I've had a great year of golf. I've gotten myself out of a little bit of slumps when I thought there was no way out. I shot a 75 here um, on August 17th. And then Ironwood broke another drought with the 79 on the 1st of October. So... Won't be able to break 80 today because I'm only playing nine holes, but we'll try to break 40 for you. See if we can do that. Um, 
Last time I played here, I shot a 41 in the front, plus five. And um, that's what, hoping to shoot sub 40 today. Got, gave ourselves a chance. I think a birdie here would put us in excellent position because we still got amen corner coming up, seven, eight, and nine. Again, guys, just uh, talking through my game a little bit, just telling you guys about my thought process, telling you guys all the accomplishments that I've made this year. You guys have seen them all. Go back to my Pipestone video. My swing sucked so bad in that video. And um, thank goodness I've gotten better since then. Um, oh, my gosh. I can barely watch that video without throwing up at how bad my swing looks and i know i uh was not playing golf for like two and a half three months because it was winter and um obviously my swing wasn't going to be the greatest but i'm surprised at how much muscle memory i lost how how out of whack my swing looked um after just that amount of time and um it really goes to show that um even though that sometimes i have bad rounds at least through it my swing is getting better and better and the more i repeat it the more consistent it'll get and as you can see here i bet you that i'd go out of bounds more often if I didn't play this course as much, if I didn't uh, play golf as much this year, and it almost gets me a birdie. I was very poor putt right there and um, definitely upset about that because I could have really used being one over instead of two over going into the last four holes because you know how tough they can be. And... Um, yeah, as you can see here, another super narrow tee shot. You guys have seen this hole many times before. It is, um, in my opinion, one of the toughest short par fours I've ever played. Um, it's out of bounds is always a threat. You can tee up as far left as you want on that tee box and still not have enough room. You, and, um, you know, it's just... And then you overcompensate by trying to draw it back, and it it just is all bad and sometimes that's what happens guys sometimes it's all bad sometimes nothing's working but sometimes everything oh, is working how about that chip quite shot quite right there mm -hmm. about a foot oh, and a half yeah. check this out not a most flattering angle here but oh man right over the corner of the bunker Look at that! Woo wee! Oh, nice! No contest. All right. In the par. Three left. Definitely a big sigh of relief there seeing that ball check up right next to the pin and uh, stay two over heading into amen corner. We got one shot to play with. Obviously, I'm not thinking. Just try to eke it out. I'm staying aggressive. I got that foreign out. We're hunting for that front pin. We're not afraid of anything, even in the cold when it hurts. Uh, when people are honking at you on the road during rush hour. Still made it. it. Just, you just got to fight, guys. It, oh, my gosh. Get a load of this guy. So that was pure that was chaos nuts. on the tee. Um, I still made it over. He didn't mess me up. Um...
I swear I'm not. I got I got to show you guys that I'm not cheating because I know this one's a close round. But yeah, that's. It does, I know, I know it would be impaired, I know, but because it's bare ground, I get to move it, so all of you in the com- That was probably the nuttiest sequence on the golf vlog to this date. Just bad luck and good luck colliding as hard as they possibly can, and you get, uh, <sighs> my gosh, I didn't even think about- somebody honking their horn i mean i know i've seen videos of idiots going into the bushes and honking and then the guy throws a club at the bush and whatever and i i mean i've seen that happen before i mean i i wasn't even thinking about that because my philosophy when i hit my tee shot was to hit it when the cars were stopped at the traffic light so I wouldn't have that car road ambience, just the whirring along the road. It can get real loud and distracting on five, uh, six, and seven. So uh, I, I had that the thought of somebody honking, had, I had no idea that was even a possibility in the moment just because I was so focused on trying to get it over the water. And I put great contact on it. I, I bet that um, the slice was ever so slightly me maybe backing off the ball after I heard the horn. Just, just my subconscious, just my reflexes doing that on their own. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but that was just crazy. Just finding my ball over the water after that yelling at him feeling like i'm on the top of the world now i'm I mean, running like crazy because it's getting dark of daylight left so we some guy run. was behind me the whole time on these last three holes and uh i i'm sorry to the guy behind me i know you're trying to get your nine holes in before it gets dark as well um but uh just seeing it over the water um, and then going up to it and then me just all, all the color just rushing from my face as I see it next to a tree and thinking that I'm going to have to chip out sideways and then I see the bare dirt under it like like dry as the Grand Canyon and it's just I'm able to move it after that. That was nuts and... I take that momentum of getting over that creek on seven into this hole. I know it wasn't a total win getting that par, so I don't have that stroke to work with anymore. But it might still be enough, guys. I haven't made a long putt today. Um, I've had a lot of them get close. I haven't messed up bad on any, but this one needs to fall. This is for par and to remain at three over. And this is an enormous putt. The pace was just too much. That's all it was. Oh, man. And it did not. Birdie on the last. We need a birdie on the last. I can't believe I just did that to myself. As you can see, guys, getting very nervous now. And uh, just telling you guys, I need two almost perfect shots to pull off this sub 40. I've played so well today. Um, Who else just but me? People, you guys know that. Lots of good Who shots. The driver's been working great. Back. I've hit four out of six fairways up this right till this point. Run. And um, my greens and regulation have been great today. I've done everything right today, especially in this late, late season weather where it's real tough to score sometimes give this one the full business you can tell i gave that one everything i got i'm still gonna that be was absolutely away, smashed but the thing is those trees on the right they might block you off if you're over there we'll see so this is what we got left they're a factor but they're not a huge factor and you guys know how i like to cut my three wood in this wind, that's probably what we're gonna need to use. All right, we need a career shot here, guys. That's why you're quick 
as you can see guys um, those trees on the right almost blocking me out I gotta curve it around the ball is above my feet this is a real tough shot choking up big on a three wood but it's all or nothing guys and I felt oddly loose and I was ready for this he has got to be aggressive he needs to be thinking birdie here he must stay very very aggressive they're gonna go nuts when he hits this thing <laughs> An incredible shot. There it is. Oh man, one of the clutchest shots I've ever Unbelievable. hit. Unbelievable. We're on the green with a 20 footer for a 39. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at what we got left. I don't know if that's its pitch mark or not, but we got that left for 39 uphill, right to left, my favorite. Another mid-range putting situation. Gotta go in this time. I haven't messed any up today, but I haven't made any either. So, as light is quickly fading, stepping up to it. Two putts for a personal best, one putt for a personal best, and a sub 40. You know we want that sub 40. It's looking good. Had the read absolutely perfect, and... Maybe I counted wrong. I don't even know. Consistent as we could be though today, guys. We had five out of nine greens in regulation. That is unbelievable in this weather. Zero penalties, finished with the same ball we started with. What do we do for fairways? Five out of seven. And for putts, there was one one putt and one three putt, 18 putts. Now for the final tally. Starting from the first hole, running total. Five, nine, 14, 19, 24, 28, 32. No, no, there's no way I shot 41. Did I shoot 41? Are you kidding? No, 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 come on. No, because I was one over, two over, one over, one over, two over, two over, two over, two over, three over. No, no, I marked five on the last hole by mistake. Because I'm not even used to marking four. Okay, now let's start again. Five, nine, 14, 19, 24, 28. 32, 36, 40. I was less than a foot away. I can't believe it. I'm actually super pissed right now. There's pissed and then there's 99 Stanley Cup lost pissed. I'm 99 Stanley Cup lost pissed right now. Unbelievable. Unfricking believable. Um, just marking the date down and everything. Just give me a second. It's actually the 24th today, I think. 
Okay. 24 RD. <laughs> no, we change that to a TH. Um, the final score, final tally. There it is. We almost ended the year in a blaze of glory. Blaze of freaking glory was that close. Freaking three putt on eight. Three putt on eight. That's it. That's all it was. Not even the honk stopped me. Not even the no rollout stopped me today. I was firing on all cylinders today. <sighs> Except for two putts. One on three and one on eight. Unbelievable. We still can't be mad though. That was a personal best this year that I just shot in 50 degree weather, 20 mile an hour winds, and you can barely see a thing. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That was an unbelievable round of golf. I guess I'm just not good enough yet. Shot a 40. Yeah, real good day. Some guy walking by. Um, well, it's getting late. Got to see my family tomorrow for Thanksgiving. Hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. Right back where it all began for me, Sylvan Glenn. We fired a good one out today. We did. I'm, I'm, I'm on one point I'm ecstatic because it's a personal best, but on one point I'm pissed because I was a foot, a foot short of 39. Because that thing was curling back too, on number nine there. So many good things to talk about in this round, guys. So many great things to celebrate tomorrow at Thanksgiving. I know, I know this will come way after Thanksgiving, but happy belated Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, let's hope the Sabres pull it out tonight. This is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone.